on a less depressing, uh, more philosophical note, sure. uh, are faith and objectivism in any way compatible? Uh, would it be possible, for instance, to be a deist or to believe in a, a higher power or an afterlife or just something greater than the material while still adhering to objectivist precepts and principles? Well, first, I would separate out religion or mysticism generally from uh, everything just being material. We don't know that everything's material or not. Certainly, there is a human consciousness. Consciousness is not, cannot be boiled down to just material. It, 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 it has created something new, you know, exactly the physical, biological explanation for it. I don't have and nobody has. But, but uh, you know, objectivism is not materialism. Um, and uh, even though uh, I, I will say that religion and objectivism are incompatible, a belief in an afterlife or in a God or in some kind of consciousness that is above and beyond human consciousness that is guiding things that is, there's just zero evidence for, and we believe in evidence. So it's not that we, we, we negate religion. We are pro-reason. Reason is what negates religion. That is, you, you, as long as religion relies on faith, and faith is, by definition, the negation of reason, at least in a certain part of life, uh, objectivism rejects religion, uh, rejects all forms of mysticism. Uh, you know, lots of secular people are absolutely unmitigated mystics uh, because they, 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 they don't accept uh, science and, and, um, and um, reason as their means of knowledge. They accept some other mechanism. So, and ultimately, I think all, all religion and all mysticism boils down to subjective emotion. I mean, ultimately, nobody has revelations. So, and uh, so you, you decide which book you want to listen to and, and how do you decide? Either based on training, because that's the book you were born with. If you're Jewish, you go by the, the Jewish book. If you're Catholic, you go by a Catholic book. Protestant, you go by the Protestant book. book. Very few people actually use, actually evaluate all the religions and choose one. They, they go by what they, what they tradition has dictated. Um, you know, and, and, and they subjectively choose a book and they subjectively follow that book. There, there's no, there's no, there's nothing there. So yeah, I don't think you can be consistent with objectivism and hold that in some portion of your life, you're going to adhere to faith. Um, certainly you can accept certain premises within objectivism and reject others, but then you, you can't be consistently with, uh, within that philosophy. So to consistently be an objectivist, yes, you have to reject all forms of faith. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up.
you'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.